Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Shantanique and obviously this is my YouTube channel. I have a channel that's dedicated to vlogs, lifestyle, human resources, wedding planning, literally whatever is happening in my life at the very moment. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 4 p.m. Eastern. As soon as you have subscribed to my channel, head on over to Instagram and make sure you follow me there. So it's been a while since I've actually done a Black Girls in HR video and Black Girls in HR is a series that I created so that I can provide all different types of people with helpful tips as it relates to HR. So you guys might not know, I do offer HR consulting services. I offer three different packages starting at $75 where I can either have a one-on-one -on -one consult with you, I can give you feedback on your resume or I can revise your resume for you. I'll make sure to leave information in the description box but essentially send me an email and we can get you set up with a consultation today. Now that all of that is out of the way let's talk about today's video. Obviously as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about how to find the right job. I have five helpful tips to help you find the right job so if you are interested in learning what those tips are are, keep watching. As I've started my consulting business, I've really learned that a lot of people don't know what they want to do career-wise. Um, they don't know what their next job should be. They don't know what industry they should explore. They just don't know. And sometimes when you don't know, it's really overwhelming to get out there and look for a job because you don't know exactly what you're looking for. So the first tip that I'm going to share with you is to take an assessment, a personality assessment, a career assessment. You can literally Google job assessment, personality assessment, what would be a good job for my personality. You can Google any of those keywords, key phrases, and so many different resources will pop up with free questionnaires, free surveys, free assessments that you can take, which will literally give you a list of jobs or a list of careers that you will be good at based on your personality and how you answer those questions. Now, obviously I'm giving you that pro tip with a grain of salt, just because, you know, the assessment says that you should be a doctor, doesn't mean you have to be a doctor. Maybe you hate blood, maybe you hate school, maybe you don't want to be in the medical field, but at least those assessments will give you ideas and literally spark your interest to say, oh gosh, I never even thought about being um, a claims adjuster. I love cars. I love everything about cars. I know everything about car parts. I never thought that I can do adjusting or be an auto adjuster for an insurance company or that I could even start my own business being an adjuster. So first things first, take some type of personality and career assessment. Pro tip number two, update your resume. So many people sell themselves short because they don't keep a current resume. Most people create a resume, they find a job, and they never think about a resume until they're looking for another job again. Keep your resume current. What kind of activities have you been involved with at your current company? What community efforts have you led? What kind of committees have you been a part of? What initiatives have you implemented or created? All of those things should be essentially housed on your resume and they are making you more marketable and honestly more profitable uh, because it just shows that you're an all around great candidate for the next opportunity. Just think about it. If you've been at your current job for five or 10 years, that's five or 10 years worth of stuff that you don't have documented. And I promise you, when you go to sit down to create your resume, you're not going to remember every single thing that you did from five or 10 years ago. So keep a running list. I was involved in this from this time. I implemented this in my department. I received this award. I was recognized for this 
whatever it is, whatever accolades that you've achieved over that time, you wanna make sure that you keep a running list of those so that they can be added to your resume. Now, I've met so many people who don't know how to write a resume. Their resume is very basic. I will tell you, having a professional resume is the key to getting an interview. Keep in mind, I didn't say it's the key to getting a good job or getting a new job. It's the key to getting an interview. Most of the time, most of the time, your resume will get you an interview and it's up to you to get in front of that panel and sell yourself and, and win that job over. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I do provide resume services. So if you need any help or if you have any questions, you can definitely book a consultation with me. I'll make sure to leave that information down in the description box. Pro tip number three. You have to commit to applying. One thing that people don't realize is looking for a job is a job. I tell people all the time, if you are serious about leaving and finding something new or finding something different, you should apply to at least five jobs per day, okay? Five jobs per day every single day. That should be your normal routine. Once you get out of work, set aside an hour and commit to applying to five different jobs. Part of looking for a new job as a job seeker is being committed. So before you can even say, yes, I want a new job, what do I need to do? Mentally, you need to make sure that you're prepared and you need to commit to actually applying. Pro tip number four, follow directions. I know that sounds so basic, but you guys would be so surprised if you knew how many candidates submit incomplete applications. If an application requires a cover letter and you don't have one, make one. Don't just send off the application without it as if they're gonna overlook it if it's a requirement. If an application asks you to list three references, list three references. No job is gonna come back to you to say, hey, the application asks that you list three references and you left that blank. They're just gonna skip over you, they're just gonna move on. So make sure you read all of the directions and make sure you follow the directions exactly as they're written. If there's any confusion about it, it's always better to give more than to not give enough. Pro tip number five, make sure that you're qualified. Don't go applying for a nursing job if you don't have a nursing degree and a nursing degree is required, okay? Don't go apply to be a teacher if you haven't received the certification and taken the GACE or whatever the test is called to be a teacher. Figure out what the requirements are and make sure you meet those qualifications. Don't get this pro tip confused with thinking through if you can actually perform the job duties. We're not talking about the job duties at all. We're talking about the job requirements. If a job requires you to have a bachelor's degree and you don't have a bachelor's degree, you don't qualify for that job. If a job requires you to have a JD and you don't have a JD, you don't meet those requirements, okay? So many people apply for jobs that they are not qualified for. Now, when we say qualified, we're talking about meeting the requirements, not the ability to actually perform the job duties. Two totally different conversations. And I'm probably going to make a separate video dedicated to that, talking about qualifications, if you're underqualified, if you're overqualified. But essentially, only apply to jobs that you meet the requirements for. Otherwise, you're wasting your time and you're wasting the time of whoever it is looking at your application. I hope that these five tips were super helpful to you. Of course, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section. Also, if you'd like to book a consultation service, make sure you send me an email. Um, I hope all is well on your end and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next HR video.